Ladies and gentlemen, economic data in the Eurozone has been disappointing in recent months. In Germany, car production has not yet recovered from the problems with the new emission tests. In Italy, there are even signs of a decline in fourth quarter GDP, and the French economy is suffering from the protests of the Yellow West movement. The Eurozone as a whole is likely to have grown by a meager 0.2% in the fourth quarter compared with the third quarter. Next week, Eurostat will report exact figures. But at least it should be a plus, a recession is unlikely. This also applies to the first quarter, especially as German car makers will ramp up production after receiving more orders again in the fourth quarter. In addition, German industry should benefit from the fact that the low tide on the Rhine is over and that it can again be supplied with raw materials without any problems. Apart from such special factors, there are two arguments in favor of a continuation of the upswing. First, domestic demand is being fueled by low-key ECB interest rates. This can be seen, for example, in Germany. There, the IFO business climate for the service industry, which is primarily dependent on domestic demand, has remained at a high level. Secondly, the manufacturing sector is suffering from the slowdown in demand growth from China. In fact, China has been hit by the trade war, but the government is taking decisive countermeasures and has adopted an economic stimulus package. This should work. The Chinese economy will catch on in the spring and with it the exports of the Eurozone. Thank you very much for your attention.